It's been thousands of years, but still much of ancient Egypt's mummification practices remain hidden in history. But now researchers are sniffing out new clues. Using modern technology, experts at Germany's Max Planck Institute have identified and recreated the scent used in the mummification of an important Egyptian woman. We have recreated the balm of a person that does not physically exist anymore. We don't have the mummy of Senet Nye and we only have um, her canopic jars left, which usually contained her uh, mummified organs. But these organs have, have also been removed. So at the end, we only had um, remains, tiny remains, tiny traces of the mummification balm, the substance that she was covered with uh, for the afterlife. And so we took samples of these canopic jars and then analyzed the mummification balm. And based on that, based on the molecular composition of that, we could identify the ancient smell of, the, of eternity or the afterlife. The team's research centered on substances used to embalm noble lady Santony around 1400 BC. The way I described it, uh, on, in a technical way, it's woody, resinous, balsamic, aldehydic, very warm, powerful, it's very important, I think. And in terms of souvenir, it uh, reminds me some um, holidays in Greece because of one of the, the main ingredients called uh, the lentisque pistachio, pistachio tree. Experts say the mix of ingredients give new understanding to the mummification process, but also Egypt's far-reaching trade routes at the time. I'm hoping that, uh, that, that this, this will add a new layer and, and, and open sort of a new dialogue with the past, because uh, we can keep telling the new stories with the same uh, tool set, but here we have a chance to open up sort of emotional uh, portals to the past. Uh, and this will, this will, I hope, bring, at least to me it does, bring people back to, uh, to something which is now 4,000 years gone. Ancient Egypt, obsessed with life, opened at Morgad Museum on Friday, October 13, and will run till August 18, 2024.